Hey guys, I know I said I was going to be posting, but I have been recording, just not posting. Business, business has been crazy lately, so we had this Black Friday sale through this Cyber Monday, so I haven't been, ha I haven't had time to upload all my videos. Um, I am going to upload these videos after I post this dino video. So, you know, guys, that's what everybody wants to see, the dino videos. And I'm the only one who did a before and after. And the only thing that has changed is that I added the VT racing kit with the 61 millimeter pulley. So all this stuff you can get from VT. And other than that, nothing changed. Like my exhaust is the stock exhaust with the O2 or the secondary cat remove, which it was removed when I did the original dyno. And just like the air box, the only thing that changed was like I put a can in air filter. So everything is the same. I mean, the air filter is not gonna make that big of a difference, but everything is the same on my original dyno. Um, versus this dyno except I have the VT kit on there um, So I am gonna show you guys the 91 dyno. I do have two other dynos. I will show you um, But before I show you those other two dynos I want to go back and post all the other videos I had leading up to this all my mistakes. I made um, There's a lot of things that I did that didn't work out and I want to update you guys to show you how much I've been putting into you know improving the platform and then after we get all caught up on that, I'm gonna give you guys the higher numbers. So right now, the numbers you're gonna see are not my final 91 numbers because um, me and the tuner are gonna adjust some cam timing to add a little bit more power. Plus also on these dyno runs, I was having a lot of belt slip with the original belt that came with the VT kit because um, most of you guys are running standard pulley. I'm running a smaller one and this tune is a little bit more aggressive than the VT tune as we all know. So these numbers, you know, with the, you know, the, the finalization of the 91 tune and the HD green belt that I'm going to be putting on there, um, I expect the numbers to be five to 10 wheel horsepower higher than what you're going to see on this dyno that I'm going to show you. All right. So these aren't the final numbers, guys. I got to get the, uh, the green belt installed and I'm going to apply the new tune on there today. And like I said, it'll be five to 10 will horsepower higher because there was a lot of belt slip. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. But before I do that, I want to give a big shout out to Amy at VT Racing. So, you know, now that, you know, the kit's been out for a while and a lot of people are catching on, they officially offered me like a sponsorship. Um, I haven't, you know, I'm not really sponsored yet. They're doing a trial run with me, so we'll see what happens. Um, but that being said, if you guys are interested in the uh, the kit um, online, these kits are like forty five hundred dollars um, from what I've seen on eBay and Alibaba. If you guys, you know, want the kit, I can get you a discount without even having to do the group buy anymore. So all you have to do is when you go to message Amy which I'm going to give you our contact, just, you know, mention that you talk to me and that way she gives you a cheaper price because if you don't do that, they're going to get as much out of you as they can, which that's what I would do as a business owner. I want to charge you more, but I'm going to hook you guys up. So I'm going to give you our contact information and, you know, big shout out for, uh, to VT for actually um, sponsoring this dyno. Like this is a third party dyno, but VT, I told them what I wanted to do. Um, because you know, there's all this doubt in the super what the supercharger is capable of, and I wanted to disprove that, so I reached out to VT and told them I already had did the uh, initial dyno. And if they want me to, you know, give them the content for this, this after the install dyno, um, that way it is pretty much third party tested. Um, I don't know these guys at this dyno place. Like I only know them because I go and do the dyno. So I had them set up their dyno exact same way. Um, the temperatures were about exactly the same. So this is all third party tested. They are not funded by me. I'm not giving them a, a tip, bonus, nothing like that. These guys really want to see what the kit was capable of because of the, the price point was so cheap. So um, that being said, yeah, we're gonna go and look at these dyno numbers and they're not the final numbers. So just keep that in mind. But this is, you know, the only before and after that anyone's done with as little variables as possible because I'm using the same dyno, you know, and the only thing that's changed, I don't have a headers, I don't have a full cat back or anything like that. And I still have my factory stock air box. 
So there's nothing done. The motor hasn't been broken open, no cams. So what you're seeing is if someone just, you know, basically buys a VT kit and gets decent tuning, because this isn't even my final tune, this is what they can achieve on 91. 93, you can get more timing, so even more power. Um, you know, if you do an octane booster, you can get even more power because the, the car automatically advances timing. All right. And, you know, you guys are going to see an E20 tune. Um, that's as mo much as ethanol as I can run because these fourth gens have smaller injectors than the third gens. So the third gens are actually capable of more power because they have bigger injectors. Um, these fourth gens are, you know, more fuel, fuel economical because they, uh, they switched up the injectors to where the spray, we spray more times per cycle into the cylinders versus, you know, the third gen. So they're able to get more fuel in and we don't have as much injector time because, you know, our injectors are smaller and we have to spray more, uh, more frequently. So I'm not going to go too much into that because that's over a lot of people's head. They just came here for the, the numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and post the numbers show you the before, the after, um, and then I'm gonna put Amy's contact information up. So if you guys want the kit, you know, just contact her and just tell her you talk to me. That way, you know, you don't have to pay full price. I mean, people are really out there paying $4,500 for this kit. Um, do I think it's worth $4,500? Yes, if you can achieve 100 wheel horsepower, it is, but why pay that if you don't have to? All right, guys, so we're gonna go over to the dyno numbers. All right guys, we are back here at MoFab to do our dyno. My car isn't the cleanest right now, but that's okay. But we're gonna go ahead and do our dyno on this sleeper that we have. That was a good one. Yeah. Get another one. 